What's up guys, Alec here with Veed and today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly and easily crop your videos for any social media platform. So let's just say you have a video that you want to upload to multiple social media platforms such as Instagram Stories, Facebook, YouTube, they all have different dimensions. For an example, Instagram Stories, you need the video to be 1080 wide and 1920 in height. For YouTube, you actually need 1920 wide and then 1080 in height. And then for a square post on Instagram, for an example, or a square post on Facebook, you need the video to be 1080 by 1080. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can crop and edit your videos for social media without changing your edit. So the tool we're gonna to be using is Veed, so we're gonna head over to veed.io on the computer. Once we are on v.io, we're just going to create a new project. Once you've created a new project, you want to click the upload button and just select the video that you want to upload. So I'm just gonna select this video right here. And then it is imported into Veed's project editor. And as we can see on the top right, it is currently uploading. It only takes a few seconds. So this video right here, I want to upload it, let's just say to YouTube, to Facebook, and then to an Instagram story. So for YouTube, let's just say I made an edit. I'm just going to add a little bit of text. And in this text, I'm going to type welcome so I've now typed out welcome um, I'm just gonna change the colors and I'm just doing this very very quickly um, just for the purpose of this video so I'm gonna put welcome in in the top left like this and then I'm going to add a progress bar so people know how long my video is gonna last I so just drag that to the bottom there we go so now if I just click on play so this is a test video that we're going to be translating as you can see, I have the progress bar at the bottom of the video and then welcome text at the top. And if I just click on download, this is basically going to be a video ready for YouTube due to the fact that it's in 1920 by 1080. But what if I want to post it, let's just say to Instagram or Facebook as a square video. So that is 1080 by 1080. I just go to the canvas size menu up here and I literally just click on square one by one. So I click on this and then all my elements are still gonna be on the canvas and they're gonna be readjusted to fit the square format. As you can see, the text is still in the top left corner and the progress bar is still on the bottom. The only thing we have to do is just quickly resize our video. So we literally just have to drag and drop the corner right there. So if I just go back to the beginning. So this is a test video that we're going to be translating. As you can see, the video has now changed dimensions. It's been cropped for a social media post on Instagram or Facebook as a square post without losing any of its elements. So again, if I wanted to, let's just say, put this on Snapchat, TikTok, or an Instagram story, Facebook stories, we all know the dimensions are 1080 wide and 1920 in height. So we're just going to click again on the canvas menu. And this time we're gonna go down to either story or you can click on the TikTok. We have the nine by 16 format. So again, all the elements are still gonna be here and what you have to do is just click and drag to get your video readjusted. And if I just click on play. So this is a test video that we're going to be translating. And there we have it. Now, if I want to download this video, all I have to do is just click the download button and then this video is going to be downloaded for my stories and I can do exactly the same with every single dimension for social media. So this is an easy way and a quick way to quickly post one video across multiple different social media platforms without having to re-edit the whole thing, having to change the whole thing. So that being said, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.